Perhaps you've heard that cutting-edge quantum computing will bring an end to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But is it true? First, what is a quantum computer? In classical computers, classical bits are used to process information as either a 1 or a 0. Utilizing quantum superposition, quantum computers are capable of using quantum bits, or qubits, that represent both 1 and 0 simultaneously. This gives quantum computers superior computing power over classical computers, revolutionizing problem solving. With more qubits at the disposal of a quantum computer, the amount of information it can process grows exponentially. For example, a computation that's easily completed by a system with 500 qubits might be impossible with even an incredibly large 2 to the power of 500 classical bits. Due to the massive computing potential that quantum computers possess, this has led to worries about the danger that it poses to blockchain technology. The encryption that's shielding Bitcoin could be compromised by a quantum computer with a staggering 1.9 billion qubits in just 10 minutes using Shor's algorithm. Sounds a little scary, doesn't it? But hold on to your private keys, guys, because we're simply not there yet. The era of deploying such a powerful quantum computer is still beyond the horizon. IBM unveiled a 433 qubit processor just recently while a 1,000-qubit beast is set to debut by 2023's end. According to cryptography expert Jens Groth, blockchains might only be at risk within the next 10 to 20 years. Groth underscores a crucial distinction between two types of qubits, physical and logical. Put simply, physical qubits are extremely unstable and tend to introduce errors. To correct the error, logical qubits, each consisting of numerous physical qubits, are implemented to produce reliable computations. Announcements about new qubit milestones are usually on physical qubits and not logical ones. As a result, while quantum computing holds immense potential, it won't be realized until more sophisticated error suppression techniques are developed. In this scenario, defenders maintain a strategic advantage blockchain developers could adjust cryptographic keys to outpace potential quantum threats. It's a race of digits, and scaling up key sizes is a faster sprint than attackers can manage. This tactic, seen in the advanced encryption standard with 256 keys, looks formidable against quantum attacks. However, simply scaling up key sizes endlessly against powerful quantum computers may not be enough. Defenders need to stay vigilant, as a newer, more effective algorithm could pop up any time and shift the tide of battle. Lattice-based cryptography offers some hope. It adds mathematical noise to the mix, potentially confusing even the most powerful quantum computers. It's like giving them a mathematical riddle that they can't solve. However, upgrading encryption for a blockchain isn't exactly a walk in the park. In Bitcoin's case, convincing every node to switch to new encryption is quite a task. Not to mention, upgrading existing private keys is tricky. The system would generate new keys after implementing new encryption. Activating the switch requires users to sign with their old key. Inactive users that never upgrade their keys would be left exposed. For instance, the inactive wallets supposedly owned by Satoshi, containing around 1 million Bitcoin. As Bitcoin advocate Anthony Antonopoulos once said, we will know quantum computing exists when Satoshi's coins move. So will quantum computers kill Bitcoin? While sophisticated quantum computers present a threat to Bitcoin, it will remain safe for now. But winter is coming and developers need to stay sharp and secure Bitcoin against the quantum future. Want to learn more about cryptographic keys? Click here to watch our video on how public and private keys work.